I, I think ultimately whatever even coffee or whatever method you want, if you don't want to dive it dive in too deep, if you're happy with it, you go for it. Hmm. Choose yeah. happiness, Dad. Choose, Choose happiness. Happiness, happiness oh. over every, anything. That was a hoot. What is poppin' everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Rock as Modern Life Podcast. A lifestyle show which features conversations with some of the most interesting and inspiring young adults living here in the Philippines. The purpose of this show is to educate the listeners and myself about different hot topics in Filipino society and culture while providing quality kalokohan. Let's get to it. There are two types of people during this quarantine. The first has let the work from home stress get to his or her face and started breaking out. The other one started exploring the world of skincare routines and pampering quote unquote their money maker. Regardless of which one you are, I have a solution for you. The Tropical Shop is a local beauty product shop born out of a Filipino food and beverage company's mission to practice zero waste management as part of their manufacturing process. The company decided to take a step further into being environmentally friendly and found a better way to utilize the fruits and herb extracts that were no longer being used for production. Aside from choosing to dispose of all of these extracts, they were instead converted into a natural, personal care product line. These products vary from soaps to clones, serums, oils, body butters, and lip balms specifically utilizing only the best homegrown fruits and herbs that the pH has to offer. I use products from the tropical shop all the time because I try to choose sustainable products as much as possible and they also make me feel noise. If you're interested in buying products from the tropical shop, you can find them at the tropical shop on IG, the tropical shop on Facebook, or even text 0917566 Four five three three. Hey! Shop today from the tropical shop. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Rock is Modern Life podcast. Everybody loves a fresh cup of Joe to start your morning off. Whether you're drinking brewed coffee or even Copico. I'm pretty sure that most people have become coffee drinkers to be more productive from home. So for t- today's show, I'm joined by the boys from Conversations Over po- Coffee podcast to talk about, well, of course, coffee. They're both experienced coffee drinkers and who love coffee so much that they decided to start a podcast about it. And they are Mr. Brian Garrido and Martin Yuzon. Good morning, brothers, and thank you so much for being on the show. Morning, bro. Anytime, morning, anytime. Man. Thank you for inviting us to your podcast. Uh, it's an it's a pleasure to be in your podcast. It's an honor, Pat. It's an, an honor. honor. <laughs> wow, hindi <laughs> kailig mo naman ako. Start pa lang ng podcast. Pero, yeah, dude, I mean, I'm super happy to have you guys on. And, you know, it wouldn't make sense to have conversations over coffee without drinking coffee. So, Come on, cheers. Cheers, coffee cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Virtual cheers, cheers. 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 So, um, what coffee are you guys currently drinking right now? Um, I'm drinking. I think I bought this from Brian. Then eh? Marivic Dobria. The yun, yun, yun Brian, de ba? Yeah, the it's farmer. From Davao. Ay yan yan. Pagita man narin yan. No, so, I, I don't have. I don't have my. I coffee. don't. I don't have the pack. Sorry, pero it's the notes niya taste like fruits. It's very fruity siya for me. And then the aftertaste niya when it when it goes down your throat feels like you're drinking taho. Taho. So it's wow. like yeah. Para, so, oh, like the consistency of taho. Like if it's in your mouth, mm. yeah, that's how it feels when you're drinking it. Weird, no? Pero that's coffee for you, man. You don't know what to expect and yeah. expect everything. So, labo. <laughs> <laughs> no, tama uh, naman. Yung yung body medyo like thick, I assume. Uh, so, like it's like soup. Medyo sinigang yeah. naman. Very thick sinigang parang. Yeah. I love. I actually listened to that uh, podcast of yours. The day. And I love that um, explanation. Yung parang gabi and yeah, parang yeah, gabi. Yeah. So parang yung Medyo may body siya, yun yung parang pork sinigang na may gabi, o nan yung medyo light naman, parang sinigang na hipon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly like that. Exactly uh, like yeah. That. Yeah, great. Man, and I'm drinking this Kenyan coffee. Mm-hmm. So it's from Good Cup in Cebu. Okay. 
very good. Uh, it shows I have a lot of coffee, like I don't know, like two dozens different kinds. But I'm very moody with my first cup, so I always choose the one that's very sweet, mm-hmm. not too like intimidating for the morning. Gets gets. Um, yeah. How many cups of coffee do you guys drink a day? Hmm. Brian, si Brian. <laughs> I usually drink two, at least two cups of filter coffee. So pour over uh, Aeropress, Delta Press. Uh, but then I just got my espresso machine, so I couldn't sleep last night at parang <laughs> asleep at 3 a.m. Because I had coffee at 9:30 just to test it out. But yeah, more or less two, two to three. Cups of day. Mm, I'm I'm around that range then. So I take one in the morning and then uh the second one could depend if I'm going to work out at night or if we're going to record the podcast coming in Brian. Because mm-hmm. we usually record at night. So oh, that's it. Two two cups a day of of pour over coffee. Nice. And th- those are like your preferred methods, like pour over, no? Yeah, man. The pour yeah. over is it's sexy for me. Like Sexy. And it's sexy talaga. Like, especially when you're watching it, when you're watching someone oh, yeah. do it. Parang, uy, kakaiba tong experience. So, um, nothing against the other brewing methods, but for me, the the pour-over is where, where I have the most fun brewing coffee talaga. Yeah, and I, I understand why. Um, I've tried the pour-over a couple of times, pero yung problema ko lang dun, lagi ako naubusan ng filter eh. So, I actually was able to get a, uh, it's like a pour over coffee strainer from Japan, pero mm. metal siya, metal yung yung strain, yung parang imbis na paper. Y- yung filter niya, di ba? Yeah, like parang built metal. in. Yeah, built in yeah. na para ano, hugas na lang and then you could like make another cup na. Yeah, that's that's one of the more economical ways of doing it. Yeah. Actually, I've been thinking of getting one din eh. Mm. Para lang I don't, para lang I don't keep spending on the filters kasi imbis maubos yun eh. Oh, dude. I mean, if you're drinking two cups a day, like, you know, that's like 60 filters now, one month. Oh, like and then, kami ni Brian, ano yan, kapag nagsama kami, we can drink like around five cups of coffee, like in one sitting. Yeah. Mag-share lang kami. Yeah. So, it's, masaya, it's fun. It's a really fun thing fun. to do. Coffee tasting sessions, for sure. Mm. Masaya, coffee and chill lang kami. Coffee and chill. Coffee and chill. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, all right. So, I guess we should start the pod um, by getting into the meat of the show so as I always do I like to start off this podcast by asking my guests what's poppin what's poppin so guys what's poppin um what's popping for me um I got into card collecting recently medyo hassle siya na hobby kami ni Brian medyo yeah. <laughs> medyo masakit siya na hobby uh, but it's really fun cause Oh, I, I've always been a basketball fan, so I'll show you guys some of the cards. So, para malaki affinity, I only collect cards that that are like special to me in terms of who the player is. Like, mm-hmm. at, if favorite team is their favorite player, those are the only ones I collect. And then, aside from that, I got a new dog over the quarantine. So, oh, perfect nice. time to get a new dog. Perfect Her name talaga. is Suki. Plug mm-hmm. ko na lang yung Suki the Corgi at Instagram. Sa Instagram. So, very cute niya. And, it's like having my own kid at home. So, like, when she does bad shit, she knows it and she just runs away. Like if she takes a shit outside my door and I look at her, tatakbo agad yan kasi alam niya mali ginawa niya. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. And I think now nga it's the perfect time to get a dog because mm-hmm. you know, you're spending so much time at home. You could really train them and um, establish a relationship. And I'm wondering, did you name her Suki after Avatar The Last Airbender? In, Actually, or... naisip ko lang siya after. Para o nga, no, Suki yung, yung girl's avatar with all the makeup. And mm-hmm. kasi Suki in Japanese means beloved. Ah? Uh, Kaya uh, that's... And then culture. when I told my mom, culture time. Culture, grabe to. Coffee and culture. So, so when worldwide. I told my mom about the name, parang, uy, it's a, it's a sweet name. Sakta for a little girl at home. So, that's it. That's the story of Suki. I love it, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's um, cute. I'm gonna follow her on Instagram. <laughs> uh, count them on Brian. What's been popping? Uh, so, yeah, this whole quarantine, I've just been working on Connector and the, and we launched the podcast. Yeah, uh, that's why we're here. Um, I got I got into uh, having pet birds, so I have <laughs> around like 21 love birds in the house now. Awesome. Like, built an aviary. 
That's and then, cool. yeah, wala lang, just for fun. Uh, I've been card collecting then with Martin recently. So, that's a whole other hobby again. But, yeah, very chill because I just stay home. And then, the gyms reopened and, like, Anytime Fitness is just beside my house. As in, it's right beside my house. So, I still get to gym. Like, last night, no people. Like, zero people. So, it's not as scary. But, yeah, yun, just taking some precautions. It's, it's, it's different. It's different. Like, the gyms now, zero people. Yeah, dude. For sure. Well, I mean, better for you if there's no people. Yeah, it's yeah, better. And like you know, since like it's a gym, obviously you're sweating, so damning bodily fluids na lumalabas. So you gotta yeah, absolutely be, be careful about that. But that's dope. Nice to know that you've been keeping yourself busy. Um, you mentioned Connector Coffee, so I guess for the listeners that don't know who or what Connector Coffee is, which you should because they sponsored last episode. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, give give the listeners a little brief description of what Connector Coffee is. So Connector Coffee is basically a one-stop shop. That's what I want it to be right now. Uh, if you guys are looking for coffee, if you guys ever wondered where you, you can get coffee equipment, where you can get probably relatively the best tasting coffee, you can get uh, you can get it from Connector. Uh, we offer local coffee and international. So yeah, you and. Uh, I personally respond to the messages like about brewing aside from the podcast then. So yeah, basically I just help a lot of people, lalo na people our age who ask about brewing coffee because it's really more economical and more efficient and very chill. Yeah, so definitely very chill. And, you know, unfortunately throughout this ECQ, we don't have the luxury anymore of going to coffee shops and being productive over there. So, you know, it's I feel like if you are a coffee drinker as in like you know that that likes original beans and not just like instant coffee you kind of need to have like a coffee setup at home and yon, yon, if, yon, 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 yon. if you guys are interested in looking for a coffee setup you know where to look <laughs> connect your coffee you know where to look <laughs> slide it pwede rin kayo mag-slide sa DMs ko may alam din ako <laughs> <laughs> para lang may laman yung inbox ko sa Instagram sige na <laughs> joke lang <laughs> oh, sa mga chicks dun ah, si Martin Yuzon. Ay, no, no, no. <laughs> single ba? Single ba? Single ba? Oo, oh, like, focus on me lang ngayon tayo. Pero kung may, pero kung may friends, kung may interest sa maging friends, sige, friends lang dahil. Friends lang. You know, <laughs> napaka-friendly naman tong si Martin na to. <laughs> Alright, so, I guess we should get into the main topic of the show, which is obviously, coffee. Coffee. So, Tara, exciting. I wanna start off by asking, what makes coffee so special for you guys? Um, I think Brian should start this because he's 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 deeper into the rabbit hole than I am. So Brian, go ahead. For me, uh, what makes coffee special is the, the whole process. Uh, if you ask me as a home brewer, it's the whole process of uh, going to your brew bar wherever your coffee setup is. Uh, grinding your beans, uh, you know, like starting the day right. I think that's one of the most special things for coffee for me. Because aside from the taste and everything, uh, very zen. It's like I I said this in the in our podcast. Na for me, zen is important in the morning. Like I don't like getting bothered in the morning after before my coffee. Like I need to put myself into a right disposition. So basically that's that's very important for me. Like being ready for the whole day through coffee. Like the process of making it. Yeah. Yeah, I one hundred percent agree. Like I mean not only does it give you that essential caffeine kick to start off your day, like, you know, it's kind of built into your routine, therein, kind of getting your yeah. mind set for the day. You know, like some people, they like to stretch, they like to meditate. And kind of making coffee is kind of like a meditative process, therein, uh, you know, grinding That's the true. beans for you guys and then yeah. eating the water and then seeing like, you know, the the smoke come out from like the, 
boiling water and yeah i i completely agree that it's super nice like as a coffee drinker you kind of need that routine and you know when there are little things that like bother you like kunwari nagpauta si yung mom mo or something and uh, but it has to <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not nice i mean the process <laughs> it's not nice <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> and then if if that happens parang medyo rattled na kagad yung utak oh, mo yeah. yeah. i mean you know like it's one of the things that you need to deal with with living at home but yeah i super agree ikaw naman martin what makes coffee so special for you a oh, quick thing lang last trip kasi si miguel has a song called coffee din eh so parang wow yeah <laughs> so rock serendipitous oh huh? big word um, coffee in the morning <laughs> coffee uh, okay pero um coffee for me um i think with almost everyone who's who's considered a coffee drinker you drink coffee just for that burst of energy right? ba para lang gising ka like in the morning or when you need to do shit like study work out you take a cup of coffee um i started out drinking coffee as a way to just jolt give me a, that jolt of energy that i need pero when brian um eventually introduced me to um pour over coffee um it was a very it was a very vivid experience for me na i remember the moment the, the coffee touched my lips and my tongue na but oh shit this tastes like peaches i don't even know what the fuck peaches taste like but if <laughs> but if there were peaches here in the philippines i'm pretty sure this is how it would taste like and then but from there it was all downhill for me na it was it's uh it's a very exciting experience Um, of course, you have your routine. You're drink. You're brewing your own coffee every day. Pero what makes it exciting for me is the different kinds of beans that you can have at home. Like you can have beans that taste like, like um, like oranges. Yeah, you can have beans that taste like ginger or do we have to um, and then jackfruit. So every day is a new experience that. That's true. You can you can choose to brew um, in a certain way, like you grind it coarse, coarser for today, just because you feel like it. And then the end, in the end result, sobrang sobrang ibang lasa niya than what than what you have the day before. Because um, there are so many things that go into coffee. Like when Brian talked about the zen of everything, I un- I completely understood. Because once you're at that. Once you're at our level of appreciation for the coffee, it's like, it's like with you with baseball, pal. Like, you if you watch someone throw a, throw the ball or or bat, you can see that those minute mm-hmm. things in their form. Like, oh shit, if he dips his elbow, so bro mas gaganda yung bato niya. Or yung if he just extends his foot one one inch forward, mas okay yung pitch niya. And we're at that level na rin now. Those little things. We notice it, and that's, and for me, that's part of that's a really big part of the experience of drinking coffee. Dude, yeah, for sure. And you know, I can't really say myself that I'm the most experienced coffee drinker. I mean, I can tell the difference between a good cup and like you know, like just Barako or like the typical uh, kapesa sa business meetings na from the big dispenser. Yeah, But, yeah. yung marami talaga. Yeah, yung marami talaga. But I'm I'm just curious, like. As someone that doesn't really understand the notes or like what to find in coffee, like what's a good way to start in like, or like what's a good way to start noticing or and experiencing some of these like notes that you guys always talk about? Uh, exactly. Actually, I was gonna plug about that because my answer a while ago, it was very basic. Like <laughs> it was just a tip the iceberg for me. Just for your listeners, then uh, who wanna get into coffee? That's why I answered it like that, so that mm-hmm. people don't get intimidated. Oh, yeah, And I think sure. sorry, intimidating. Yeah. Palagi sagot ko. <laughs> then, then, then. Let's let's go down this rabbit hole. Oh no, no, yeah, let's go down this rabbit let's hole. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go down together. But yeah, I think that's one of the uh, reasons. Then uh, people shouldn't get intimidated by uh, coffee tasting. Uh, so yeah, yon. If you're not intimidated, like you just open your mind, you know the right people. To talk to about coffee, uh, and that's why we're here. You know, no judgment come in and everything. Uh, I think the first step is finding uh, good quality beans. Um, okay, so I'm I'm not I'm not going to be naming like brands or anything, but you should. There are a lot of brands here 
who have good coffee and they're not as expensive as coffees that are sold in chains. So I think that's one of the big reasons is that um, a lot of the people who go into coffee shops and brew at home, they also think that the coffee in the chains uh, na yun yung best. But it's not like there are a lot of artisanal shops, like small roasters then who roast good quality coffee and they sell it like half the price of what chains sell it for. So you know, just even find... half the price, remember? Like yeah. one one bag of coffee, like of around 250 grams. That's around 300 pesos, 400 pesos. That's around oh, yeah. the, that's around Starbucks level. It's on Venti a Starbucks, right? Yeah. And like, that shit's gonna last you a month. Yeah, it's it's very cheap actually if you look at mm. it that way. Uh, even spending like one thousand pesos for a bag of coffee is cheaper than a week of just buying coffee and chains. So, yun, quality of coffee is the main thing. Um, I have a question for you guys though. Like, you know, um, let's say that I were to go and get like specialty beans. What would be like an appropriate average price i guess for quote-unquote specialty beans that like wh- what's the standard like measurement 250 grams ba? that's like the yeah, standard 200 bag. 250 yeah that's yeah. the standard for a bag if we so, were to like yeah give you a price range if you were to spend like 1000 pesos and above you're pretty much you're like 99.9 percent sure na yung coffee na yun, masarap siya. like okay. good of good quality na yan. um but you can get really good local beans um because there's commod- you have commodity coffee and then um, specialty slash single origin coffee. So with commodity coffee, that's your usual coffee you get to Starbucks or your mga coffee you get from the everyday dispenser's office. That's, their, that's what we call commodity coffee at that level. It's around 200, 500 pesos a kilo. And if you were to get really good local beans, that would cost it around... 500 to one, 500 pesos and above. Am I right, Brian? Yeah. Um, ako, my price range is, I start at 450 for 200 grams. And uh, a lot of the people who are already in the hobby, they really find it, ano naman, like, really borderline cheap. It's really acceptable. Oh, so, the one I'm drinking is from Connector. This is around four, 500 at that, Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty so, so, yeah, yun. Basically, uh, siguro 95% of the time you need to spend above 400 at least to get um, like the legit specialty and not just like quote unquote the single origin na you find because there are a lot of people who get the who sell yung sagada they say it's sagada beans and whatnot but uh, most of the time kasi you really don't know where it's coming from anymore Sagada has really low harvest kasi, and not a lot of people have access to the farms there. So, yeah. Yun. Uh, roasting is also key. Mm-hmm. It's a different rabbit hole than roasting. But <laughs> you're gonna be lucky if you have quality roasted beans with good quality coffee. Green coffee beans. Yun yung best there talaga. Yeah. And then after that, it's you. Like, 2% na lang yung work mo just to brew the coffee and it's gonna taste really good. Yeah. And I'm sure that there are actually a lot of options for, you know, specialty beans. Um, I personally drink Baraco lang because I, I I actually really enjoy Liberica, the Liberica strain. Oh, yeah. Like, the most, the most useful ones, um, the... <laughs> strain. Are, are, yeah. Strain. strain. <laughs> I, don't, okay, I don't know. What, oh, what, 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 I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's from, it's from yeah. a different plant, I mean, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Arabica, yeah, yeah, yeah. Liberica, Robusta. Um, but yeah, I, I like the Liberica because it's like a little balanced, but, you know, I like it also because it's, you know, but it's, it's kind of borderline budget coffee because it's grown locally. It's, um, Liberica is a little bit harder to find than Arabica and Robusta, but you know it's because I since I'm not like the most experienced coffee drinker. For me, it's the best among the three budget coffees. And you know, before even moving on to um, 
these arabica beans i was just the typical you know mcdo coffee uh, Dude, um, the coffee's yeah, the mag- shit man <laughs> i think we all started there i oh. think we all started there naman. go to the new vanilla yung iced vanilla yeah like until that, today parang fuck sarap talaga nun, i mean talaga. you know for 50 bucks it's like the most budget coffee that you can get and you know it's it's, it's nice and cool refreshing but you know this actually leads me to my next question which is what is like for you guys in your opinion the best budget coffee in the philippines because you know most of the people that drink coffee here well i mean that i've been experienced to like we're college students we are kind of running on a budget can't really we don't have the time and luxury to be spending on specialty beans all the time so yeah for the listeners that are that want to get more into coffee but like want to know where to start na budget what would be a recommendation from you guys Actually, we have a conversation. But I guess. Uh, um, you, have, you have to. I uh, know. When you're on the budget, like oh, when I started, I was really on a tight budget. And, uh, siguro, the best is just to find um, find beans that you're, you think you're going to be happy about. Because at the end of the day, you need to be happy. Like, if you're not happy with the beans if you're just doing it just because you got them uh just just got just because you got peer pressure into it don't do it at all if you like the peer pressure you find, yeah you know if you're starting and if you're in a budget happiness first yes choose happiness you know, style. happiness first um just find any beans if you're really starting and you're on a budget just find any beans any type of beans and then go on from there uh google is very handy it's free so we're very lucky to have that now. And then, uh, yun, like without plugging the podcast, just Google everything first or YouTube. After that, you can probably trace us na organically or have friends. So yun talaga, that's a start. You don't have to spend a lot. Just be happy when you start. I have a different... Uh, oh, your answer cause is I'll give you the... Sige, per budget, magba-budget level tayo. E-tier right, natin yan. So, kung college student ka, and I'm assuming allowance na sa 200, 100, 200, I'd go for a copy ko blank pa, man. Like, every blank, day blank. of the week, that shit's, <laughs> that shit's amazing. Like, wala ko pera, yun talaga kukunin ko. And then, if you if you really want to get into, like, the down the rabbit hole of coffee, you could start with, of course, um, it goes back to your question earlier na, um, it, your question before this was, what's the best tasting coffee? Or how do you get, how do you start tasting coffee? Yeah, I think how do you start, yeah. That's, I think that's the answer in it, in it of itself. You just have to buy coffee and then know what works for you. So you can buy yung 200, yung 200 pesos for one kilo of coffee and then just start experimenting with it. And then eventually once you get, once you fine tune your palate to what kind of coffee you want, and then you can start looking for those taste notes that you're looking for talaga. So that's around, if you're, from my experience, the best um, ethically sourced coffee we have here in a budget, I've gotten around 100 grams for around 200 pesos. Oh, wow. So you're still working within that 400 peso price yeah. range for, for, for good uh, quote-unquote budget coffee talaga. Actually, I think if you, I know, if you put the math into it, the 200 pesos for 100 grams, that's even cheaper than Macdo. Or, mm. yeah, it's even cheaper than having a 50 peso Macdo coffee. The only thing there is you can't have it on the go, mm. except if you have time. Yeah. It's not like we're on the go now, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah I actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> actually, in budget coffee, like, I have a really good answer to that. In 7 Eleven. Oh, they yeah. Have the 7 Eleven okay. coffee is really good. And, Dunkin' Donuts then, sarap. Dunkin'. If you're on the go talaga, like budget on the go, that's, yun, yun okay siya na go to. Yeah, I agree. The 7-Eleven is actually pretty sulit. It's like what? 40, bu- 40, 40 bucks? 40 pesos lang like yeah, 40 yeah. around this much. Like, uh, don't, yeah, it's around this much. <laughs> <laughs> Solid na, laki na. Laki nga ito eh. Yeah. Siya, parang buong araw ako magkakape na to. <laughs> For the ones that are just listening to the podcast and can't see the video, 
uh, Martin's holding up like I, I, th- I guess like an I, inch, two like inches, inch? three inches. I think this is three inches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seems about right. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, like I think the the only real way to get into you know this coffee culture is by you know buying coffee and immersing yourself and ex- like you know experiencing different tastes and you know that's always gonna be the first step. And yeah, it's like the biggest hurdle because it's very intimidating yung coffee in a sense na you see all of these people on Instagram na they're take they're having so much so there's having so many kinds of different coffee you have your coffees from Starbucks yung mga I don't I don't know what you call it, yung ice cube coffees mga ganito sila gamit ng milk mm, yeah 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 I'm not sure what you call it but so there's like so many entry points for coffee that people wouldn't really know where to begin and yung pinaka advice namin there is would be just like would be just to Start drinking coffee. That's it. So pick one that you that interests you the most, and if and then go into it. But if you like have questions about how certain types of coffee, brewing coffee, brewing methods are different from the others, how they're different, just ask. Like there's a there's a Facebook group called Coffee Home Brewers. Um, you guys should look it up if you want to start getting into coffee. It's very helpful. There's so many home brewers there that um, are willing to help you with tips and also me and Brian just give us this just slide and just slide in our slide. DMs yeah. in our, more than I mean in our it. Instagram uh, oh. also in our podcast oh. or whatever so we're ha- more than happy to help it's gonna be forever free like just if questions. you were to talk about yung pinaka basic sa ng coffee or okay, I think cool lang yung cool lang yung episode mo yeah, yeah, for sure. Just for sure. Ano, just sure. go to our first episode, yeah. No, I think episode two. Uh, episode two. Up. Yeah, yeah. Just check it out. I mean, check if you guys out. are interested in learning a lot more about coffee, you can always mm-hmm. check up um, their podcast where they talk about different brewing methods and everything about coffee. I mean, it's called Conversations Over Coffee, and you know, also they touch a bit on like you know coffee culture in the Philippines, which is um, very like unique in it in itself. And we'll move on actually to. Um, more topics on how the Philippines coffee culture is. This episode first, is brought to you by Toad's PH. If you're someone like me, a person who loves to have a healthy and hearty meal in the morning, but is also super lazy to prepare one, then I have the perfect plug for you. Toad's PH is ready to eat overnight oats product that is not only healthy, but definitely hits the spot. Their product is a healthy snack or meal that you can enjoy in any part of the day without the guilt of bad sugars or unnecessary fat because it has no added or refined sugars. Each cup is approximately 300 calories only and I swear it tastes nothing like that. They have a selection of flavors such as the nutty banana, the apple pie and my personal favorite, the cacao crunch. All super tasty and delicious flavors for a reasonable price. And the best part is, they'll deliver it right to your doorstep. If you're interested in ordering yourself some totes, you can find them at totesph on Instagram and Facebook and just slide into their DMs. Totes PH, overnight oats with an exceptional taste. And we're back. So to start off the second half of this show, I want to ask you guys, um, how does the Philippines stack up against the rest of the world in terms of specialty beans? Because, you know, I know that we as a country come up with pretty good beans also, but I, I'm not sure how the coffee cultures in the other around the world, you know, if they import also Philippine specialty beans or all of that jazz. So I guess I wanted to start off by asking, uh, like, how... Like, how does the Philippine specialty bean stack up against the rest of the world? And is it something that people should be, you know, giving more attention to? I think Brian has a better, is the best one to answer this question. Uh, so, yeah, for coffee production, most of our coffee production is for commodity. Uh, a, lo- a lot of our coffee is also Robusta. Uh, mostly yung available. So, you can't, like, they usually go into 
the big brands for making instant coffee and yung granulated instant coffee ganyan um where we place though in specialty uh, i think even if 2020 was the year of the pandemic and everything the crazy that happened of the pandemic, all the shit man. that happened um it's Kobe. yeah basically everything <laughs> that happened <laughs> Medyo, th- things were things are looking up for specialty naman in the philippines uh there are a lot of uh cooperatives farmers out there now focusing on specialty it's because the thing with specialty is you get more pay if you're a farmer uh technically but then your work gets like exponentially higher because you chase for quality kumbaga magis magis talaga specialty <laughs> magis yeah. magis <laughs> yeah parang ganun. basically like you you just have to do everything because what happens is the rejects of specialty usually they go down to the commodity. Yun eh. mm. yeah, so it's more yeah. tedious for sure to um, more tedious. kind of culture the the beans, eh, diba? Just Par- harvesting. May parang may anak talaga. Like you yeah, you have to re- kailangan mo talaga tutukan yung especially if it's for specialty talaga. Yeah. yeah. Kasi people grade it, eh. So mm. it's not in your control whether you're going to be whether your beans are going to be specialty or not. Yeah, how do they how do they grade these beans? Uh, they cup it. So copying uh, just a quick uh, quickie lang, quickie lang, quickie lang. Quick copying is. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you. So this is a copping bowl. Basically, it's just a bowl, part a rice bowl. Hmm. Uh, what they do is they just grind the coffee, put the coffee grounds here, and pour hot water. Uh, you wait for a period of time, like usually mga 12 to 15 minutes, and then you taste the coffee. Uh, like no filter? And then it's just... No uh, filter. It's just yeah, you're, you're, you're just like steeping the coffee. Yeah, okay. that's how people actually, like roasters, that's how they check for quality in their coffee. And also, yung graders, nga, that's how they check. So, para siyang, there's a criteria of how they grade it, but... The main thing is they taste it from this bowl. Yeah, no filters. They just taste it from that bowl. So that's how they grade the coffee, basically. Yeah, it's good. Um, what would you guys say is like the star of Philippine specialty beans? Like, is there a certain um, like name for the coffee, certain bean? I mean, I'm I'm not so experienced. That's why I'm asking you guys this. Um. Ako, um, oh, simple answer lang. Si Brian ay in-depth answer. For me, um, for that question, the best answer, the answer there would be there are certain provinces in the Philippines that are, that produce really good, that produce really good coffee. Um, top of mind would be um, the northern, yung mga, yung Benguet area na. Since maganda yung, uh, since they, uh, it's really, it, they have a high at- altitude, they can produce really good coffee. Um, to name one, coffee I've tried from there. It's called Kapangan. Um, Kapangan is the farm or the area. I think, the area. Brian? It's the area, the area. Of, of where it was um grown. And this coffee, naman, it tasted like jackfruit. Like really sweet jackfruit. Like the one you have in Toron. Yung, yung langka. Mm-hmm. The, moment you t- the moment it enters your mouth, sobrang explosion ng langka in your mouth. And then, and um, I think Davao also has really good coffee. Yung Mount Apple. Mm, yeah. So, you also have in, um, in Sultan Kudarat in different parts of Mindanao. But those two that I mentioned, for me, those are like the best I've tasted so far. What about you, Brian? Yeah, for me, same answer. Uh, Northern, uh, actually, Kapangas in the border of La Union and Benguet. So, it's on the western border. But one of my favorite coffees, yun nga, is the Kapangan coffee not because i carry it and connector but because super good nga siya. like how why what how martin uh said it also uh, yung davao coffee uh there's one cooperative called bakofa so if you guys bakofa is really good guys kung nakita yeah. niyo yun get you yeah if you guys i'm taking notes uh go into a <laughs> instagram shopping and you see bakofa beans they're really good, relatively. They're one of the best in the 
Philippines. Uh, there are a lot of beans then in Mindanao nga. Like, uh, Bukidnon also has really mm. good beans. Uh, and then the real Sagada beans, like the real ones harvested from Sagada. Uh, actually, there, there's this one brand called Sagada Gold. Like, I wrote gold. It's legit, legit Sagada mm. Gold. That's the packaging. It's also gold. I don't know where to buy it, <laughs> but probably Facebook Marketplace talaga. Mm. Legit. That's that's legit Sagada Coffee. It's really good. Um, yeah. Ju- you just, I think yun. Da- Davao, Benguet, uh, Bukidnon. Uh, one of the best producing for specialty. That's a quickie one. side note lang. Yung Bakofa and Davao. Like, that was the first time nakatikim akong, uh, it tastes like mangoes. Ganun siya kasarap. Mangoes, Para, wow. And then the way, alam mo yung the way when you eat mangoes, the way it feels in your mouth. That's how it feels. That's all. That's also how that coffee feels in your mouth. Wow. Sobrang, sobrang amazing siyang experience. Realizing that okay, coffee doesn't have to taste burnt or bitter all the time. It can taste sweet. It can taste like mangoes. It can taste sour. So, wala well, masaya lang siya. May excited. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Um, that's awesome, dude. And I'm definitely gonna take note of these and you know probably order from you from connector coffee because Yo, like, yeah, man. Probably man. Hit, like, hook me up with some of that good stuff um on the way na sayo bro all right, right now. on the way na. <laughs> like start trip na uh, start trip na <laughs> um okay so my, for my last question actually for this topic it's um i didn't include it in our outline so it's major you know impulsive and um let's go abrupt. let's like, go let's go you know, everybody sees those memes, the not naman memes, but those like parang infographics on social media and how do you like your coffee and it starts off really milky to all the way down to like, you know, just pure black. I want to ask you guys the great debate. Is it okay to put milk in specialty coffee? Ah, uh, you know, it's very sensitive, sensitive topic, but Brian, or... No, I, 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 have, an answer. I have an answer to yeah. it. I have an explanation to it, but it's yeah. Martin. It, the reason why I'm saying it's a sensitive answer because um, when it comes to coffee, for me, it's like you can't. It's the way the way you enjoy the the best coffee is the coffee you enjoy, right? So if you enjoy it with coffee with milk, it's okay. If you enjoy it with whatever you put into it, it's fine by me. But there are some people, because that are very like very passionate. Now, okay, this is the only way to drink coffee. Yeah, they're super drink anal with, about it. Yeah, they're super <laughs> anal about it. like okay, they just drink it with milk, garon. Pero um, there, you have the best way for me to drink coffee. Like in my opinion, is if you want to experience all the notes, all the shit that's on the label, like yung notes of jackfruit, bergamot, cinnamon, whatever, whatever notes there are. The best way for you to drink it is to filter coffee. Um, because if you put milk into it, it just erases all of that flavor complexity. Yeah, and that's exactly so, why I guess like the coffee connoisseurs are like so anal nga about it. Like you know they're so like strict with it. Like no, you have to drink it like filtered lang. Putting milk is bad, and like that's why I wanted to ask you guys. Like, is it okay? Like you know, since you guys are experienced, like you know, for experienced drinkers to put milk, but yun nga, like you said, you won't taste it nga as much. Yeah, uh, uh, I have a different brand. answer, naman. Okay. For- I'll show you the same, but I have an explanation. Like, I'm here to save the day for those who wanna put milk in their specialty coffee. Got your okay, back. Naman. Rest back siya. Got your back. Um, but yeah, Sorry, for guys. Me, <laughs> oh, for it. me. No, but I have my own answer. For, for me, personally, I like my coffee just black. Without milk. So, yun. Before I save the day. <laughs> I like my coffee black also. Like, if I if I had to choose, then some meme nga, like, that infograph. I go totally to the left side, the purely black. Uh, only because I like tasting everything in the coffee. Like I like tasting how they farm the coffee, the quality. You can't taste the full quality of the coffee if you're putting milk in it. Because it's not coffee as coffee. It's coffee with milk. So. It's <laughs> pure, parang gano. yeah. It's pure, pure coffee, na lang. So as a purist, I would only <laughs> probably drink. Coffee with milk, mga one out of ten times. Yeah, you can't. Ano eh, you can't. You can't taste the. Di mo taste yung um yung hard work ng farmers, the producer, 
the roaster if it's just drowned in milk. But for those who like it with milk, specialty, pwede naman. There are beans na that are roasted for espresso uh, and that there are also shops na who also have notes for espresso without milk and then espresso with milk. So usually what you what you want in like what those specialty people want in espresso with milk like flat whites and lattes and everything is that people can taste like blueberry cheesecakes mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. milk with cheesecake. coffee. Ganun ako na rin, ganun eh. So interesting parang, yun eh. Yeah, that's the very interesting side naman but then it mahal kasi like having specialty with espresso is inherently right. very, very, very expensive. Like, right, kwento mo kung gano'ng kagastos yan. Oh, pakwento naman. Pakwento mo naman. Basta, Your recent, <laughs> yeah, I just recent got a machine. purchase mo. Sige na. <laughs> no, I just got a machine and a grinder. So I just got an espresso machine and a grinder. And it's sitting right in front of me now. Like if I, if I had another webcam here, I would flip it and then it's right in front of me. It's a reminder na I have to work hard every day. Sayang, you guys. <laughs> but no, but yeah. Um, yeah. For those people uh, who want it with milk and the espresso, mar- meron namang cheap. It's it's called the flare espresso. Like you you can buy it for like it's a manual 7K. espresso, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, seven k. Just press it down. Very cheap, man. Relative. Uh, major hard work lang siya, but I think people who want to spend on specialty and also enjoy enjoy it with milk. You have to extract it like with espresso. Because if you put milk in a pour over the coffee, it's gonna get drowned out. Parang sayang. Yeah, sayang lang, sayang. Yeah, especially since when you pour over nga, it's like very subtle yung notes. So if you put milk mm-hmm. na, like, you know, you're completely um, taking that whole taste profile out. Um, but yeah, that's great. Thank you guys. Wait, uh, it's a quick note lang. For me, I thought about it. So, so, as Brian mentioned, there are certain types of beans Um, they're roasted in a certain way that's best for espresso or with milk or with um dito, or pour over. So yung sagot ka dyan, if you're looking for the clarity of ano yung, yung clarity of the notes, um, and you do and you do a pour over and then put put milk on it, para ka well done na steak. Mm. Para masyado mo siyang niluto and then wala na siyang it's still steak, it's still coffee, but at the end of the day it's It's a diff. Hindi na siya. It's not the best. It's not a, It's not the best. It's not at the best level na may enjoy mo siya. Yeah. Shit, nagbutom na ako. Tara. <laughs> so, <laughs> steak, tara. Steak, eh. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you know, for someone that doesn't drink coffee at all, you know, milk is probably the easiest way to kind mm. of like get yeah. into the whole... Because you know, it eliminates sweet. that bitter taste that we associate yeah. with normal, with coffee talaga eh. It's acquired like talaga it's eh. Oh. Yeah, it's acquired. It's acquired. But yeah, thank you for those insights. And I guess to wrap up the show, I, let's, I'll move on to my last segment, which is called What is Your Why? So why do you guys do the things you do every day? What keeps why? you motivated? What is your reason? To What do you mean why? Because you can't. Why? So measure deep, I know. Why? Uh, any of you guys can start. It could be as deep or as shallow as you guys want. It's up to so, you. The, why we we did the podcast or why we're into coffee? Can we give those two answers? Alam? Yeah, same, I think sure. I think that's better. Sige. So, the why ko for coffee in general is it's a very it's a very intricate experience for me. Uh, I use the word intricate because the way I treat coffee and Brian was the one who actually explained this to me. So, thank you, Brian. Is it's like a science project, na. There are so many variables that you can play around with that if you grind it a bit too coarse or too fine, it's going to affect the taste on a, in a very different way. So it's all, about, it's all about exploring for me. Like what are the different ways I can heighten my enjoyment of coffee? And, and at the end of the day, um, It's about enjoying coffee. That's why that you know why ko talaga. Like I do this coffee. I I brew it this way. I choose this kinds of beans because I love it and I enjoy drinking it. At, and I enjoy and I really enjoy drinking it. Like Brian. Uh, are you gonna answer the podcast? 
why the podcast? Uh, let's, or... let's, let's answer the first uh, question. Like, why coffee ah, first? And then why the podcast? See ya. So, me, why coffee? Uh, it, it basically, basically now that I have the business, I wanna, I'm in pursuit of the best, the quality, the best quality. I want everyone to have, like, that's my goal. I want everyone to have a nice cup of coffee at home. Na, they don't have to go out. Uh, I want, parang, I want the best that the world can offer here in the Philippines. I want it brought in here. I want them to, I want to share yung techniques, like yung mga tips and tricks. Uh, and also enjoyment nga, like happiness. Yung, at the end of the day, you drink coffee, you brew your coffee because you want to be happy. You know, you want that caffeine kick, but it makes you happy. Like, why will you even be into coffee brewing if it doesn't make you happy, diba? Uh, diba? Kung hasa lang siya, why, why, yeah. why oh, you oh, doing it? I think that's, so, yeah, like, I that's think, a really good answer, Brian. Oh, yeah. I think ultimately, I, agree. I, I think ultimately, whatever, even coffee or whatever method you want, if you don't want to dive, dive in too deep, if you're happy with it, you go for it. Hmm. Choose yeah. happiness, Dad. Choose, Choose happiness. Happiness oh. over every, anything. Um, and then yeah, yung podcast. Pod, yes. um, actually, matagal na namin iniisip yung podcast namin. Like, around a year ago, pinapag-usapan na namin habang tiyatalo ko si Brian sa FIFA. Kinakain ko. <laughs> That's false. Yeah. That's yeah. false. Just had to bring it up. Kinakain false statement. Zero. False statement. <laughs> false statement. False statement. Um, like, we, whenever we would talk um, to each other, parang we always we always have we always throw questions at each other. Na Brian, what if I do X with Y? And then Brian would always have a re- a, big, a good explanation for me. And then ako parang ako I like learn. I always I, I enjoy learning talaga. And then during and then especially when this pandemic started, everyone stayed at home. We joined this group called uh, the Coffee Home Brewers. Shout out to them. You guys should check it out as well. Um. And then we saw that there are so many people who are like-minded, as in they enjoy coffee, they're looking to get into it, and there's there are just so many questions out there. Um, like you, like for someone who hasn't experienced coffee the way we have and want to try it, you don't know where to start, you have so many questions. And then Brian and I were talking about it, and we said, bro, go on a time podcast and dami naman tayong oras. Diba? Yeah. Like, let's just grow the community. We want we want to be able to share the enjoyment we have of coffee, right, right? Yeah, parang yun nga. Like we we just started the podcast so that people can get into the the right coffee culture here. Na parang I can imagine it in like five ten years. Na everyone's just you know sharing their beans or like before you guys hang out or in the morning, diba? It's gonna coffee brewing is gonna be part of your day and like. Siguro pinaka basicness like we wanna be the Google in the Philippines what, Google? for your coffee needs. Like, <laughs> parang kick, no, we can just kickstart it. Like you can just uh, search or like we can just DM somewhere. us, and then everything's there for free, free education. Like we we want free education for for all. Uh, <laughs> Pro education, so tayo dito. For all, free education for all. Because <laughs> yeah, there's so many things about coffee that people yeah, I, either don't understand or they don't know at all. And we want to be able to fill that to help them fill that gap. So at the end of the day, when yeah. they have when they actually do start coffee or when they're when they're in their coffee process coffee journey, yeah, they find happiness at the end of it. Or in the in all in everything that they do, they understand why this coffee why coffee is so special. And all the shit that goes into it, like all the equipment, the different kinds of equipment, the brewing methods, the way it's produced, where it comes from. Because once you understand more of that, I think for me, when you understand the basics and everything that goes into the end product, sobrang mas magaga- sobrang mas magaling appreciation mo for it. Yeah, for sure. And you want and... to grow it talaga eh. Masaya siya. Like there are yeah. 15,000 people in that group. And coffee, just for coffee. And fun fact, it's the most Drunk, drunk. It's a. I don't know what the word is. Drunk, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, it's it's what it's the number one drink people drink in the world. I think, right, Brian? After water, I assume. After water, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, probably after water. Oh. Yeah, probably yeah. after water. But yeah. But there's yeah. Such, there's just so much to learn. Yeah, 
And that's great because I feel like that's such a nice motive to have because it can definitely keep you guys going in the long run. And, you know, coffee is constantly growing. The coffee culture is constantly growing. And, you know, having a medium for people to kind of consult, to educate themselves is really important with any, you know, field that you get into. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I super appreciate that you guys are doing this for the Philippines. So I just want to wrap up the pod by saying thank you guys again for being on the show. Honestly, Thanks, I, I, honestly, Thanks for learned, having us, bro. Of course, of course. Learned so much, so. actually, from you guys about coffee in general and definitely going to be looking more into that. Um, but yeah, it's been a really fun time and I think now would be a great time for you guys to plug in where people can find it's you. It's time to pull the plug. Um, so, of course, we have our Instagram and Facebook pages for um, conversations over coffee. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's Conversations Over Coffee PH on Instagram and Facebook. And you can find us on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and wherever you listen. Um, yeah, sure, sure, kami, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and then kami. And then plug ka na rin yung, so if ever you guys have any questions, you can just send us a DM um, on our Facebook and Instagram pages or yung personal namin. So Martin Yuzon sa Instagram, kung gusto niyo magtanong, okay kami. Yeah. Whether in yeah, and, <laughs> yeah you, no, you, you guys can just message us anywhere. Conversations over Coffee PH or our personal Instagrams. Uh, more than happy to help. So yeah, I, I think yun, we have a YouTube also, but then we also we only have one video. But more to come, more to come. More to sure. come, yeah. Yeah. Plug uh, na rin yung connector. Yeah, bro. connector. Bro. Na rin. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I'll just plug connector coffee. So it's at connector coffee on Instagram. Uh, on, on Facebook, it's also Connector Coffee, no spaces. Uh, or you can just message me also personally if we're friends or like you, you want know to me be from friends. somewhere. <laughs> if you want to be friends. If you know me from somewhere, but then you want to buy type coffee, it. shy type, ka, <laughs> you can't find the page. Just message me wherever Facebook, Instagram. Like, I'll help you. I'll hook you up with yeah. coffee. Don't be shy, butterfly. Yeah, don't be shy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah again thank you guys so much for being on the show I hope you listeners learned a lot about coffee and you know found a little bit more insights to get into this deep deep rabbit hole um, so yeah that about does it for this episode and I'll see y'all soon peace thanks guys <laughs>